Hey, Snap Tribe. I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to the channel. I'm having a very exciting day today. I got gang stalked again. <laughs> gang stalking stories. It's so funny. But today I was ready for them. I was ready for them. I had my camera with me and everything. And I got pictures of a bunch of stuff, including my biggest stalker. Got a really good picture of his face, close up. <laughs> he was waiting for me in the grocery store. He came right up to me and, and said hello to me like I was a friend of his. This guy has really got nerve. Anyway, um, <sighs> I'm tired of all this and I came home exhausted and I, I realized when these people do this stuff to divine feminists, they're feminines, they're, um, they're harvesting energy off you heavy duty uh, because they get you into a state of being kind of scared. And I wasn't that scared. I mean, uh, the, what they do is they, I'm kind of, you know, I'm not thin. Uh, what they always do is they send these women with huge bottoms to get right in my face. <laughs> And so I saw several women like that in the grocery store right away, and I whipped out my phone and started taking pictures, and I noticed that other personnel in the grocery store were looking really nervous, very nervous. They didn't expect that. And one of them came up to me and said, may I help you? An older woman, you know. And I said, no, I'm just looking for some lunch, if that's okay with you. Oh, well, yes, you know. <laughs> then I saw another guy looking real nervous, getting on his phone, after I spotted my abuser, I circled around. After I spotted him, he said hello to me. I circled around the aisle and came back and took a picture of him. He didn't expect that. <laughs> then I came home and, um, well, actually, I left out the part that I had been to the zoo before, the grocery store. I went to the zoo finally here. And I saw some fat women at the zoo, and I didn't really think. I thought my gang stalking was over. But then after the grocery store thing, I realized the people at the zoo were getting paid to put their big butts in my face, you know. They had the butt family there at the zoo. <laughs> then I came home and um, they put a gun in my face. Okay. I live next to the dumpster here, of course. My unit, I'm trapped here. I'm trapped in the lovely city of Alamogordo, New Mexico. Um, and there are I think their plan for me was to disappear me and kill me here. I really do. I'm very isolated here. I don't have any friends. I'm very isolated. Anyway, this guy came to the dumpster. And I happen to, this is just what God does for me. I just happen to go to my window and open it just as I see this guy with a big handgun on his hip putting something in the dumpster. Um, and this guy was dressed for sport. He had on sports shorts and a tank top and, and a huge gun in his pocket. That was meant to intimidate me. So I'm tired of the whole thing. Uh, if you're a law enforcement agent, I need help. I need help getting out of here. I need an investigation of this community. I noticed uh, last fall that, that witchcraft is big here. Everybody's really interested in it, overly interested in it. No one in this town has ever been nice to me, you know. That's when I realized I'm in a principality. I'm just trying to get my story out there. I'm tired of being trapped in the desert with people trying to disappear me and get rid of me and all the people where I came from acting like I don't exist, like I never existed. You can't imagine what it's like to feel like that, to, to understand that that's what's happening to you. I made the following video in March, and I never published it because I took my channel down because I was scared. 
I took the 999 down because I was scared. I finally got in touch with more spirit guides and um, they kept encouraging me to continue to try to publish my work. So I'm going to continue. So in this video following here, I talk about the 999 and that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Anyway, um, please send a donation if you can. I, and, uh, I hope others are having a better time than I am. I'm so tired of this nonsense. <laughs>